everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we'll be learning about the fractions chart. And I say learning about mm, kind of loosely because you have learned everything we're going to teach in this lesson today. It's just a summary lesson of how to handle fractions and they've put it in a chart for you. So let's take a look. You might remember that in an earlier lesson we talked about that SOS technique, right? First we're going to shape our fraction to get it into the right format. Then we're going to do our operation. Then we're going to, last step is we're going to simplify it. Well, what does that look like for each of the operations? For addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's start with addition, subtraction. Well, the first thing we have to do when we are adding fractions, for example, let's say I had the fraction 4 fifths plus 2 thirds. Can I work on that right away? No. So what do I have to do? I've got to get them to have a common denominator. So that's how shape looks when we're adding and subtracting. So I'm going to write common denominator in here. Okay. So once I have found a common denominator here, that would be 15. Let's go ahead and just do it. Uh, 12 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths, okay? Now, we would go ahead and do our operation. I would add here, or if there was a subtraction sign, I would subtract. So I'm in here, for the operate, I'm gonna write add or subtract. So this one would be 22 fifteenths. Okay, now what about the last part, which is simplify? So I either have to reduce my fraction or I also have to and or convert it from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So here I would do, well, 15 goes into 22 once, and there'll be seven left over, one and seven, 15. So we're either going to reduce and or convert. Okay, we can barely fit it, but we got it. So that's what the adding and subtracting piece looks like. Now, let's talk about multiplication. Let's say I had, here we go, uh, something that said two thirds times one and one fifth. What would I have to do to be able to multiply? Well, the first thing I'd have to do is put them in fraction form. Two thirds is fine, but the one and one fifth, that mixed number, needs to be turned into an improper fraction. So step one, put it in fraction form. And by the way, that also happens to be for division, right? There's a division sign in here. I can't do anything with it until it's in an improper fraction form. So here we go, fraction form, put it in fraction form. Okay, so let's do that. This would be two thirds, times 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 fifths. And now for multiplication, I would just multiply across, right? 2 times 6 is 12 or 3 times 5. And if I could cancel first, I would cancel. So I'm going to say cancel then multiply. Whoops. Then multiply. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off my um, multiplication category because division gets a little hairy in there, changes up a bit. So uh, I'm going to cancel first. I've got a three here and a six here, and now I can multiply. Two times two is four, and my bottom is fifths. Now, if in this problem, I don't have to do any simplification, but if I did, at this point, I would do the same thing. I'd reduce and or convert. That's always the last piece. You have to look to see if you can reduce and or convert. Okay, now notice I have this big gaping hole here for the division. It starts out the same, put it in fraction form, but when we get here, let's say I had a division sign here. Let's go ahead and change this up. All right, so we did our two thirds, and let's say this was a division sign, divided by put it in the fraction form, five times one is five and one is six fifths. We'd have to do something first with this division sign, wouldn't we? First, we'd have to change our division to multiplication. Let's do it over here where I have room. That would be turned into a multiplication sign and my six fifths would be turned into its reciprocal, right? So in that box, I'm gonna say 
the division goes to multiplication and the fraction goes to its reciprocal. Ooh, there we go. And what would we do next? Then we would look to see if we could cancel and then multiply across. Five times one is five, three times three is nine. Which means essentially we jump right back to here. So instead of writing that, I'm just going to show you an arrow. Bink! So the only difference that happens with our division problems is we first have to change that division to multiplication, change that fraction to its reciprocal, and then carry on just like it was a regular multiplication problem. And then, I don't have to do it here, but I would look to see if I could reduce and or convert. That's it. As I said, there's nothing new in this lesson that you haven't learned before. It's just one nice summary lesson to put it all in called the fractions chart. Make sure you try our practice examples to see if you've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions down. That's it for me today. I'll see you next time. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Bye!